in as promised this is my battle for bronze which is basically I am making my last and very overdue comments on the world championships that occurred back in April because I've been meaning to do this video for a very very long time but I didn't but that's okay because I'm doing it now um I'm going to be talking about who I thought should have been on the podium in the end between the third and fourth place finishers in each of the disciples. First, I'm going to start off with the men, which would be Yuzuru Hanyu versus Brian Joubert. I want to honestly say Yuzuru Hanyu because he is beautiful. His free program was amazing. Everything he does is awesome. And yes, he and he had the second best free skate of the night which pulled him from 7th to 3rd overall. Though I honestly believe that Brian Joubert should have won, like, should have gone the podium, because he is not at... He, back in 2007, he was a shit. But then since Patrick and Dasuke have, have improved so much more, and he's kind of been in a standstill, because he's not like it's, he's not gone bad, like, he's not gone worse since 2007, just that Patrick and Dasuke have been like, pew. But I think, personally, that Brian Joubert should have won, even though I love the user, he's like my crush from like this year's skating crush, like Simon Patrick. Um actually all three of them, like on the actual podium, the three guys, they're all my they, I, I'm in love with all of them. That's not the point though. I think Brian Shimmer should have won just because one, he had the home crowd advantage. He was fourth place after the short. And he was fourth place in the free. I think he should have been third place, honestly. Third place in the free to be third place overall because he really did deserve that medal after everything he's been through. I saw him like I think it was like eighth at Europeans or something like that, which is horrible because he's an amazing skater. He's unbelievably sexy, and he has a quad that is more consistent than any other guy. Do you know how much work it takes to get a quad? So that's why I think he should have got that in the end. Um, for the women, Akiko Suzuki versus Ashley Wagner. I want to say Ashley Wagner. In the end, just because one, I love that girl. She's like, she's like, I have a girl crush on Ashley Wagner. Um, and I love her Black Swan program. I think that Akiko Suzuki, yes, she is amazing, but she missed like two triple lutzes in her free program. And I guess she skated clean in her short program, or decently clean at least, if I, my memory serves me correctly. But it would have been such a big step for Ashley to get to the world podium just because there hasn't been an American lady on the podium since Kimmy Meisner, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Kimmy Meisner when she won the world title back in 2006. And Sasha Cohen, who was silver, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. I might be totally derping right now. Um, it's basically it's been a long time since the American has been on the podium because after the surge of Asians who have been poning the ladies figure skating. Um, and I mean, yes, Ashley was seventh after the short. I personally think she should have been marked much higher because, yes, like, I mean, no, she didn't do a triple triple. She was aiming to do a triple flip, triple toe, but then ended up doing a triple flip iffy one and then a triple loop double toe. Instead, which kind of caught her the points back, but nowhere near what I would have been if it was a triple toe. And with Ashley, um, her she's finally getting the credit that she has been gypped of for the past couple of years on the competitive scene because in the U.S. she's always been the almost girl. They always were highlighting this year when she won the national title. And I think it was just because um, back in juniors, and then early on in her senior career, she was always in the shadow of, like, Mariah Nagasu, Caroline Zhang, um, blah, I cannot think today, Rachel Flatt, kind of people. And I think because of that, she hasn't been getting the program component score she deserves, but I think her program component scores could have been much higher. And I think the judges, they were just harder on her because this was her first world appearance since 2008 when she went as the American lady in the bronze medalist because first, second, and fourth were too young. Pairs. Takahashi and Chen versus Pang and Tong. I personally think that Takahashi and Chen deserve it because Pang and Tong, it was their world debut and I want to, this is going to sound really bad, but they're kind of getting old. So some of the elements are getting a little bit harder. And if I'm not mistaken, they actually, they broke up now because 
Peng wants to no, wow, I'm totally lying. That's Zhang and Zhang. Okay, never mind. Forget what I just said. Um, Takahashi and Tran, they were third after the short. And I watched them at Skate Canada. They were fourth in Skate Canada. And, I mean, they weren't perfect. Like, they had some inconsistent, they had some inconsistency. Like, her, they need a jump coach or something because they, like, she falls on a lot of the individual jumps as well as the throw jumps. Um... But they have everything else. While Pang and Tong, they're not as, um, I wouldn't say amazing, but they were strong. They weren't as strong this year because they were actually, they didn't compete all year. So I thought Takahashi and Tran, they've been working so hard and they actually had a clean short. And the face they made where it's like, when they found out that they got third was hilarious. Like, I was so happy for them. Like, I couldn't, I can't even explain. So... That's why I think Takashi Tran should have got it in the end. And then finally, because this video is going to get really long, we've been Poche versus Peshala and Borzat. Ooh, I'm going to say Peshala and Borzat in the end. Simply because, yes, they had the home crowd advantage. And they have been up on the senior level for so much more. We've been Poche have just been being recognized. They just got recognized for just maybe last year when they were fifth at Worlds. Well, Peshla and Borzad have been kind of in the shadows, too. But I think Peshla and Borzad, they had more intricate lifts. Because, and their um, free dance was very, very creative. And I guess in the home crowd advantage, too. So that's why I think that Peshla and Borzad did deserve the bronze medal. And it was a great contribution to them. And I mean, even Poje, it wasn't a complete loss. Because, one, they moved a place up from last year. Two... They broke 100 on the international level in their free dance. So, I say kudos to them. And, yeah, so this is going to be a very overdue video, which I'll post now before the junior grumpy video that I'll make later. But, yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys.